Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. Hiya, Bruce. (laughs) How's your weekend? I'll get you first. (laughs) Me first. Well, uh, let's see here. I did a ton of cooking on Saturday, um, besides it being the 30th anniversary of the library building this year. Yes, that's what happened. Um, Yes. Ice cream uh, given all around. We had a a lovely little ice cream (laughs) social. More than 100 people came by to get some some goodies yeah. and, and uh, check out the display that I made of some historical memorabilia that we've had. Um, and that was really cool. And I'm looking forward to – I've been doing some organizing of some of the memorabilia in there and um, looking at if it's possible to like digitize some of that. So like fingers crossed that I'll be able to like make that like – browsable and searchable online like histories compiled by like the friends of the library and stuff which oh, would be wow. super cool be yeah yeah and then and then we had a volunteer appreciation dinner in the evening so i was also cooking all day too so I oh, made, wow. so yeah i made i made a, a nice dinner for like 30 people and it was fun i'm never going to be afraid of cooking for thanksgiving ever again jason <laughs> so. was be- jason was eating ice cream and Doing it on Facebook. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He came down. He was like, Klondike bars? What? Letting everybody know Klondike bars. Yeah, he went AP on that. Yeah, that's funny. Yes. I know. That was funny. Yeah, we had some like music. Yeah, yeah, that was good. It was good. It was had a fun good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Nice, yeah. nice, uh, nice casual little celebration there. So, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Very mm-hmm. cool. And a little bit of Sunday action just hanging out and being cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to rest on Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then we were here at KCIW trying to see if we can plan some new shows and stuff like that, too. So maybe you'll see some new programming on the oh, air coming sweet. up soon. We'll see what happens with that. So, yeah, okay. looking forward to that. Get yeah, the word yeah. Out there. Mm-hmm. yeah. Just a little teaser there. <laughs> yeah, have a little fun there as well. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about you and Junior? We went to the fall carnival there at the school on Friday night. That was really cool. It was neat. Uh, he had a blast. Yeah. A bunch of kids were there. We saw everybody and all that. It was packed as usual. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. Costume? I got some suggestions, but yeah, he, mm-hmm. he's in costume. He didn't wear his Godzilla one because he's got, like I told you, he has one of them air-filled Godzilla ones that he's mm-hmm. going to use on Halloween, mm-hmm. but he had a Venom outfit that he wore mm-hmm. so he can go hang out and be cool, stuff Freaky. like that, you know, okay. yeah, yeah, because you can't do much in that Godzilla outfit, but hold a trick-or-treat bag and right. that's about it, you know, <laughs> that's it, candy. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we wonder how long that's going to last him on Halloween night, but uh, we have the backup Venom one that fits, and he wore that to the carnival, oh, so you got to do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you get to have some fun there and then <laughs> hung out with his buddies on the on Saturday and everything. So, yeah, it was a good weekend all the way around, getting all pre-Halloween. It's kind of like we were talking earlier. It's bizarre. Too bad they don't sanction Halloween as just like the last Friday of the month or something like that Wouldn't in that October. Nice? It's like Tuesday <laughs> for Halloween. Yay. Uh. But as we would be going on through the show, you'll be seeing everybody's doing the parties on Saturday, though, mm-hmm. you know, and everything. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a packed weekend, I tell it you what. It is going to be a crazy weekend. Yeah, I had a lot mm-hmm. of material when I was sitting there looking at when I was taking away, you know, all the stuff. We did so much from last weekend. I'm sitting there going, dang, is there anything? Should be some Halloween stuff. Oh, there's plenty. I got online and we yeah. got a lot of show to do. Throw a yeah, stone what... in town, you'll hit a Halloween event, essentially, yeah, is yeah. what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, even yeah, even if we don't announce it on here, I'll guarantee every bar is doing a Halloween party. There's Halloween parties on the side. You get on social media and you'll see Halloween parties everywhere. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're actually planning one for a couple of his buddies on Saturday. Hopefully, we'll have a little get-together with Cute. a few kids, you know, so, mm-hmm, yeah, but... Mm-hmm. But that's just, you know, pre-Halloween thing. You know, like I said, it should have been on Saturday. Right, but, right. But, but yes, we'll be sharing all the highlights, our pre-Halloween highlight show for you here this yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Exactly. But yeah, that was it. Pretty well cool weekend. Uh, yeah, I got to see my races and all that. And yeah, the football and all that good stuff. So good. yep, yep, yep. My races are coming towards the end here. And <laughs> so I was telling Beth, I go, yeah. I go, you know, the races are going on. I go, they're almost over. You know, the championship's coming up here in a couple of weeks mm-hmm. and everything. We'll find out who the who the winner is and all that of the year. Mm-hmm. And I said, but then bowling kicks in. So I'll have bowling and football. <laughs> it's like I always manage to fill got one slides in when yeah. another one leaves. Yeah. Definitely. She, yeah. We're watching it over her house and it's like I got two TVs in there. <laughs> I'm going... <laughs> Going to might need a third one here pretty soon. Oh, you but, don't yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what she has to say about that. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my second marriage, it was funny because she had three kids and she, my ex-wife and she was like really sports minded and everything. So all of us had TVs in our rooms. And on Sunday, all the TVs came out in the living room. We had four TVs in the living room and there was a sport on each one of them. We'd sit around and we'd just 
food, you know, bagel, pizza bagels and all, mm-hmm. you know, just food stuff like that. You know, stuff to munch on and, and watch all the games, everything. Basketball. Yeah, because we had basketball going, football. Yeah, just whatever was happening, it was on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, who needs a sports bar with a setup like that? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, we set it up. That's pretty much what we did right there. Yeah, the only thing that was missing was a kegger. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and the neighborhood. And sometimes they did come join us. Like, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. But yeah, nice. I, I mean, so I'm used to doing that stuff. It's, it's neat. I, I don't like to miss stuff, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But nowadays you can record and watch it later. But yeah, well. no fun on that, yeah. <laughs> but hey, I hope everybody got out there. It was a... Great weekend. We got more coming up still and everything. We had a little bit of rain on Sunday, but that's no big deal. That was, it was weird. That was uh, not even noticeable. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even bother me. But yeah, I hope everybody got out there and had some fun. And uh, we got more stuff to talk about. We'll get going here as soon as I thank Trike City Dispensary and the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to, Sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW. You just go to KCIW.org and you will be on your way. So speaking of on our way, let's get some music going on here. Yeah, there's a whole weekend of music coming up here. First off, Cisco and Daltrey. They're playing on the 25th. That's a Wednesday at Seaview Senior Living. That's from 4 to 6. Yep, and the Tony Land Band will be playing on the 28th at Coon Tai, 6 to 8. And Mike Powell is playing on the 27th and the 28th at Elk Valley Casino. Music there running from 7.30 to 10.30. Yeah, I noticed they do that. They have them double nights. Everybody mm-hmm. book there. That's cool. <laughs> hey, and Disturbing the Peace on the 28th, they'll be at the Moose Lodge in McKinleyville, California from 7 p.m. to 11. So if you're a DTP fan and you want to catch them, there you got to travel on that one. Right. <laughs> a little bit. Or if you want an excuse to travel. Hey. Yeah, there you go. And the Italian guys are playing on the 27th at Tortuga Mexican Restaurant. That's at 6 o'clock. And then on the 28th, they'll be at the Inateca in Crescent City starting at 7. Yep. And then a ranch party on the 27th. They'll be playing at Coon Tai 6 to 8. Mm-hmm. And then there are some events happening at the Elk Valley Casino. First off in the Betty Green Center on the 28th. They have Cosmic Bingo. Um, time still TBD according to the script here. Maybe you can give Elk Valley a call and see what time that'll be. And then at the Warriors Bar and Grill on the 27th and 28th, it's going to be Mike Powell playing again, 7.30 to 10.30. Yeah, I still didn't see a time on the thing when I was looking on Facebook. So whatever, you just call Elk Valley. They'll tell you when it'll be. It'll be nighttime probably because it's Cosmic Bingo. So there you go. Hey, and at the end of Tech on the 28th, they'll be featuring, forget about it, the Italian guys. Hey, they'll be playing at 8 p.m. All right. And Misty Mountain Brewing on the 28th, they're going to be having their anniversary and Halloween party. There's not going to be any music that night, but they're just letting you know. They're throwing yeah. a party. Yeah. And then Checkco Brewing Company on the 27th, they'll have Jeff Brozier will be playing at 6 p.m. Yeah. All righty. And then happening in main events here, we've got some events at the Checkco Library in Brookings. There's going to be Book Arts with Tori happening on Wednesday, the 25th. That's at 1 p.m. You're invited to a free hands-on crafting workshop in which local artist Tori Bowen demonstrates how to make handcrafted books and journals. This month's theme is Dia de los Muertos, otherwise known as Day of the Dead. And then at the end of the month, they're going to be starting two workshop options for Dungeons and Dragons for Beginners. So the first workshop is Saturday, October 28th. Or you have a second chance to catch that. So on Saturday, November 4th, both are at 3 p.m. You can join Library Intern D to learn about character creation and the basic mechanics of Dungeons & Dragons in a welcoming, beginner-friendly environment. And if you have any questions about upcoming events at the Checkco Library, you can always follow them for updates on their Facebook page. You can check out their full events calendar at checkcolibrary.org, visit them at 405 Alder Street, or give them a call at 541-469-7738. Yeah. I know. I was going to ask you, did you guys do that little workshop yourself? It is tomorrow, oh, which means tomorrow. the air date. We were going to oh. miss the air date on that. But yes, for everyone listening, I'm talking about the Gore Workshop that's scheduled for the 24th of October. And I'm sure it is going to be a blast. We'll talk about it next yeah. week. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to tell people all about that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We got the Checkco Playhouse is presenting the 20th anniversary haunted house, Slasher Street. They're going to be at the Harbor Shopping Center. That's going on right now. This was the first weekend. It looked pretty crazy online. I saw the lights flashing in the top. That was pretty cool looking. Mm. Flashing like lightning in the top windows. Yep. That yep. was pretty neat. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 
Yep. So that'll be happening on the weekends here, starting, like I said, this last weekend. And then they'll be running from the 27th to the 28th, 29th, and then the 30th, and then the 31st. All the times are 7 to 10 on all the dates. Okay. Yes, indeed. And then this one I got here. We got Ron Real at Premier Ocean Properties. They got this open houses costume contest. So this will be happening. The first one, there's two of them. One will be Saturday, October 28th from noon to 3. This will be the traditional open houses, which I'll give you the open houses are 913 Helen Lane, 823 Ransom Avenue, 98256 Tuttle Lane, and 15994 Hannon Lane. And then on October 31st, on Halloween, they'll be doing this from 3 to 5 p.m. at the same houses. Agents and guests can be in costume on October 31st. They'd like that. And each open house will give a prize of a $50 gift certificate for Black Trumpet Bistro. And then each person who attends each open house will receive a $20 gift certificate for Grocery Outlet. So... So there you At go. At the very least, some gift cards. All right. I think that's pretty neat though, Ron, man. He's pulling out something that I've never seen done before by, yeah. you know, the agents around here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty yeah. neat. A little crea- creativity, creativity there. Creativity, uniqueness. Good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, there's a Chamber of Commerce mixer coming up. This is going to be at Checo Medical and Aesthetics. This is on the 26th of October at 7 p.m. You can join the chamber and celebrate with another mixer. Local business owners and community leaders will be networking and taking tours. There's going to be raffle prizes and refreshments for all to enjoy. And again, this mixer is at Checo Medical and Aesthetics. They're located at 97825 Shopping Center Avenue in Harbor. Yeah, I think Michelle and Marie just like mixers. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good yeah, mixer? a great good mixer. Yeah. <laughs> She's managing to get one going every yeah, month, so that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, 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 I love it. <laughs> right. Well, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, sticking on the birthday theme, here's a few quotes from actor Jeff Goldblum. He was born October 22nd, 1952. And he says, as soon as you're interested in what is good taste, then you're in bad taste land already. What's comfortable and what represents your life, what's unique and individual about you, that's style. He says, I'm always interested in the unexpected and know that things, especially in show business, but in life generally, are inevitably fleeting to one extent. And he goes, I like a pickled cucumber, a regular cucumber I'm not so interested in. (laughs) <laughs> and then his last one here, which cracks me up. <laughs> this is a good one. There is a fine line between passion and gas. <laughs> That's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's from him and with Cousin Bruce. Until next week, have a great one. <laughs> Always a good time with he's, Mr. He's a, Goldblum. <laughs> he's got that dry, he's got that humor, you know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Nature's Coastal Holiday is having a String the Joy event for this year's Festival of Lights. It's happening on the 28th of October, running from 9 a.m. to about 1 p.m. They're going to be meeting at the Kidstown parking lot in Azalea Park. Grab your family, your friends, and come help string the lights at Azalea Park. And they say the only thing that will make this event get moved is extreme weather will move the event to the following Saturday if it occurs. But yep, plan for the 28th, 9 to 1, rain or shine. I believe it's supposed to be a sunshiny day. Sounds like it's It looked be like nice, I yeah. saw on, the, uh, yeah. on my telephone earlier. I was looking at it, checking out the weather. Looks it favorable. Like it. But you know, that's the other thing. They opened up Kids Town last Thursday. That's was so the cool. grand opening. And Junior went and had a blast there. Uh, uh, on Saturday, you went on Saturday. Mm-hmm, he went with his buddies mm-hmm. over there and had a blast. So, Aww, yeah. I'm so glad that everybody came together to refresh that space. That's nice. I guess they put a merry-go-round in there. One of those. Dude, that's cool. I got the drag mm-hmm. when I was a kid. I got my leg stuck in it when it was going around full speed. And I fell out, but my leg got hooked up. So I drug around. I, I got the drag <laughs> around. Aww. Oh, I went around about three yeah. times before somebody stopped it. Yeah. Oh, and thank goodness gosh. it was in sand. I was just getting bap, 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 you know. But it was like I got drug around on one of those things. So bad memories with one of those. Oh. But but he had a blast on it. He said the maybe, other two guys Maybe they're flew. designed better these days. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said the other two, his two buddies flew off. He said he held on tight, but they flew off. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, best of luck to the two Yeah, best of luck to that one. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, and Inatech and Crescent City, here we go. They're going to be presenting a Halloween costume party. This will be happening on Saturday the 28th, 6 p.m. An epic night of great music starting out with the Italian guys at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then rocking until the end of the night with Cut It Like the Kings. 
Also, they're having a fantastic spooky rockin' costume contest. Mm. So there you go. Costume contest? Costume contest. Costume contest. And for nature lovers, they're not going to miss out on the Halloween fun. Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park is presenting pumpkins, masks, and monster mash. This is happening on the 28th of October, starting at 11 a.m. You can join them at Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park Campground's day use area for a Halloween-themed edition of Experience Nature. They'll be painting little pumpkins, decorating masks, and dancing the monster mash. This event is for all ages and abilities, and because of that, they are saying that family-friendly costumes are very much encouraged. Oh, yes. The Monster Mash. It's nothing without the Monster Mash on Halloween. Hey, Elk Valley Casino is presenting, yeah, the Cosmic Bingo, A Nightmare on Elk Street. That's more to it. Yeah, here we go. That's on the 28th, and it's at 9 p.m. Okay. Experience the thrill of playing bingo under the mesmerizing glow of black lights and neon colors. Get ready for an otherworldly bingo adventure like no other. Immerse yourself in a hauntingly beautiful atmospheric with eerie decorations, fog machines, and glowing jack-o'-lanterns. Ticket sales to be announced at a later date, so I'm sure they'll be announced this week. Must be 21 or older to attend. Masks may only be worn in the Betty Green Event Center and must be off at the time of arrival. They want to see who he is. Got to keep things secure at the casino. I forgot I had this part of it, of this... The real deal. <laughs> oh, there you go. We all stand corrected. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Brookings Church of the Nazarene, located at 1600 Highway 101 on the north end of Brookings, is presenting Be Youth Mario Kart Game Day. This is going to be on the 28th of October from 4 to 6 p.m. Be Youth Ministries is hosting a Mario Kart video gaming tournament for students in grades 6 through 12. You can join a B group to practice with your team in advance or step into a team on the day of the event. You can enter the competitive or novice tournament. Both categories will offer prizes for the winning team. All are invited. They do say there's a registration deadline. They're saying October 26th. But if you have any questions, you can go to brookingsnaz.churchcenter.com. Yes, indeed. And then we got a Monster Mash Halloween party at Del Norte County Fairgrounds. Join them for their Monster Mash Halloween party designated... For the younger kids, kindergarten through fifth grade, as I said, kids in the Crescent City to Brookings are welcome. This will be on Saturday, October 28th from noon to three. Parents must be present for this event. Don't be dumping the kids off for babysitting. Mm -mm. Only $5 at the door in a Halloween costume or $10 without. They'll have music, games, prizes, candy, and more. Snacks and beverages will be available for purchase. And then for the older kids, they'll be having a Phantom Fest Halloween party. This is for high schoolers 9th through 12th grade. Once again, Crescent City and Brookings kids are welcome. This will be on October 28th from 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Once again, 5 at the door with Halloween, 10 without. Come hang out, dance, chill, and vibe with a live DJ. Snacks and beverages will be available for purchase. Both events are being held at the Del Norte County Fairgrounds in the Arts and Crafts Building. Yeah. All right. And this is unfortunately a run I'm going to be missing out on because yeah. I'll be out of town. But there is going to be a Brookings zombie run happening yeah. at the Chrissy Fields Wetland Trails. And this is happening on the 28th of October at 10 a.m. And there's an all-ages run for family members and, and just everyone for a mile. There's the Super Spooky Run, which is a 3K. There's a Run for Your Life, which is 5K. There are going to be prizes for best costumes. And if you need more information about this event, you can go to brookingszombierun.com. Yes, indeed. Kat's going to miss that one, yeah. <laughs> I know I told her it was a 3K and a 5K. She thought it was just a mile. I was like, oh, no, God, they got, do they're so doing them all. Not. Yeah. <laughs> And like oh, you said, well. they have to run to the beach or something if they're going to do the five or something yeah, or a yeah. few loops or something. I don't know. I but gotcha. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cray Public Library is presenting Family Movie Night. This will be on the 29th, 7 p.m. They'll be playing Goonies on the outdoor screen. Bring chairs or blankets to sit on. Water, candy, and popcorn provided by all indoors if it's raining. All right. Hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that brandy was invented by accident? It's true. Now here's the story. Brandy origins date back to the 16th century when Dutch shipping merchants were transporting wine to far-flung places around the globe and ran into a problem that required a practical solution. Wine was shipped in wooden casks and cargo space was limited. So to achieve maximum value on the trade of the item, the Dutch began removing water from the wine 
using stills to allow for more product to be sent. The Dutch labeled this liquid brandy in, which translates to burnt wine, a reference to the heat used during distillation. This method of extracting water also saved money since wine taxes were levied by volume. The idea was that water would be added back to the wine later on upon arrival at its destination, except that the Dutch traders were greeted with a surprise when they opened the casks after the long journey at sea. What was once wine had further fermented and been transformed into a new, more potent beverage that met with taste of test approval. The world will come to know it as brandy, a name derived from the brandy wine and aforementioned Dutch word. Today, brandy can be made from fruits such as apricots, grapes, apples, and cherries. They are usually aged in wooden casks, purposely this time around, just like those first inadvertent Dutch batches. Well, all a bushwhacker can say is, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's Beer with History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Hey, yeah, look at that. champagne and brandy. Look, mm-hmm, at, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. look at that getting fancy there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all, like, they all they all were created by accident. Yep, yep. Messing with wine. The best things in life happen by That's accident. Right. That's right. Cool. <laughs> hey, the Brookings Elks Lodge is having a kids' Halloween party, so we got another option there. It's going to be on the 29th of October from 1 to 3 p.m. It's going to feature snacks, games, candy, and costume prizes will be handed out. Ah, so they're saying, you know, go have fun on Saturday night and come have fun in the afternoon Why on not Sunday. make a weekend there you go. of it, make it you just know. A Halloween mm-hmm. weekend, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm down with that. Hey, Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce is presenting Halloween Trick or Treat Candy Map. This will be happening on October 31st from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. They got Halloween candy. The Brookings Harbor Chamber of Commerce will be handing out candy. They will also be handing out a candy map leading you to the local businesses. The map will be available on October 23rd. So when you hear this, it's available. And you can go get it at the Chamber of Commerce there. Yeah. So that'd be great. Yeah. And the Calvary Chapel in Gold Beach, they're located at 29984 Oregon Coast Highway up in Gold Beach. They're presenting a trunk or treat event. The Calvary Chapel of Gold Beach is hosting a trunk or treat in their parking lot in front of the church. They're located in the port area of Gold Beach. This is going to be on October 31st from 5 to 8 p.m. If you'd like to decorate your car or just come and hand out candy to the kids, they'd love to see you. They ask that you register on the church app so that they might have a count and they can prepare appropriately. And Child Evangelism Fellowship will be on hand. You can join them and make some new friends, have some fun, dress up your car or yourself in church-appropriate costumes, bring some candy, and have some fun. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. And Azalea Garden Senior Living at 755 Elk Drive in Brookings is presenting a Halloween carnival. It's to be happening on the 31st at 3 p.m. They're excited to announce that Azalea Garden Senior Living will be hosting this carnival from 3 to 6 It'll be going for three hours. Their community would be transformed into a spooky wonderland with Halloween decorations adorning every corner. During the carnival, you and your family can enjoy trick-or-treating as you walk through the community, visiting the residents' apartments for some Halloween treats. But hey, that's not all. They have prepared a variety of games, delicious food, and plenty of spooky goodies for you to indulge in. This event is completely free and open to everyone, whether you're a resident, a family member, or a member of the community. They invite you to join them for a fun-filled afternoon of Halloween festivities and be prepared for a ghoulishly good time, as they put it. That's cool. And speaking of other uh, senior communities that are doing some Halloween events, Shore Pine Senior Living up in Gold Beach, they're located at 93975 Ocean Way, are presenting Hogwarts Halloween. Hmm. Shore Pine Senior Living is excited to announce their upcoming Halloween event taking place on October 31st from 6 to 9 p.m. They invite you to join them for a magical night of fun as they celebrate all things Harry Potter. Dress up in your favorite costume and enjoy Halloween treats as you mingle with the residents and staff. This event is completely free, so they invite everyone to have the opportunity to experience a Hogwarts Halloween at Shore Pines Senior Living. Yes, indeed. Hey, you know, look at that Gold Beach and the uh, Oregon Coast Highway in Gold Beach. Now, is that like Ellensburg? 
No, it's okay. just it, you know, Highway 101 is also like uh, on the Oregon coast known as the Oregon Coast Highway. Okay. So, yeah. And then mm-hmm. what's Ellingsburg Avenue they call in Gold Beach? The that's main also drag. Highway 101. And that's Highway 101. Yeah. Okay, so it's mm-hmm. got three names. Okay, yeah. I was going. Yeah. Isn't so that? It's same? Highway 101. Okay. It's Ellingsburg Avenue. It's, it's the Oregon <laughs> Coast <laughs> Highway. Just like our Checo Avenue yeah. is, is Highway 101. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we only got two names because I haven't got it to Ellis yet. Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. I'd like to have Ellis Avenue one of these days. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I said if I, if I ever won the lottery billions or whatever, I'd pay off the town debt. That's what I said when I was running for mayor. I go, I'll pay the debt off, and I just want a section named after the Ellis family. You know? So we'll have Ellis Avenue there somewhere on Checo Avenue. Yeah, mm-hmm. but hey, haven't won the lottery yet, so mm-hmm. that's just a pipe dream. <laughs> hey, uh, Meals on Wheels looking for volunteers. Their need in volunteer drivers, they deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a perfect opportunity for anybody out there who wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. Mm. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. You just contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797 and she'll get you on your way. Yeah. And we are continuing this PSA from the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. They're scouting for new troop members, and this time around, boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 is one of Oregon's oldest scout troops with a long history in the community. Troop 4032 is Brookings' first female scout troop, founded in 2019, following the transition from Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA allowing girls to join and participate in scouting for the first time in history. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts, as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade through age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 and able to pass a background check and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. Scouts meet at Scout Hall from 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except for holidays. You can come meet the troops and learn more about what the scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And if you want to contact Troop 32, that's Scoutmaster Mark Hagland at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032's Scoutmaster is Rebecca Wilson. She can be reached at 707-951-3647. Yep, one last one here before we go. We've got the Flying Fickle Finger of Fate here from the producer. we got Game Night at the Whimsical Griffin at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and board games. A whole lot of fun there going on Tuesdays and Fridays. There we go. All right. Well, that's it. We got no more So, because we run out of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hey, I want to make sure and please support local businesses. Remember to always shop local. Support all the mama pop shops and all the shops that keep us going. It's time to close this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at KCIW.org. And hey, while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey... We'll We'll see you out there. there. Bam! Here we go. Alrighty.
For music credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.